Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be doing some regrouping, some subtraction regrouping. You ready to start? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, <laughs> do you see the size of this number? It is huge. Don't worry, don't get scared there. You know if you watch my other videos, what do we do? We're going to cover it up, just get to cover it up. We're going to work down over here and the ones will slowly go this way. We're going to take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, step by step. So let's go ahead and just cover some of that up. If you got a little piece of paper when you're doing your problems, just go ahead and cover that up. All right, first of all, we start with the ones. All right, right here. Now, where do we have to look? We have to look to see if we can actually do it. We have a four and an eight. We want to subtract eight from the four. That's like if I have four cookies and you want to take eight away, can't do it. I don't have enough cookies. No. So we need to borrow. All right. So go ahead. We're going to borrow right here from this seven. So I'm going to cross this seven out right here, put the six and then cross the four out here. We're going to put a 14 just like that. Now we can do it. 14 minus 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We put a 6 over here. We start subtracting the 10s now. We move it over. Can we do it? 6 minus 4. I got 6 cookies. You want 4 of them? I can do it. I can share some of my cookies with you. So 6 minus 4 would be 2. I'm going to move this paper over here. I think we can start dealing with some of these other numbers. Not too scary right now. Four minus nine, can't do it. This number right here, too small. Need to borrow from our next door neighbor. Hey, can I borrow some from you? Yeah. So I just borrow one from that three, make this a two, put a line through here. This is a 14. All right, 14 minus nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I put a five right here. Go on to the next problem. Can I do it? I got two. I need to take seven. I, I, I can't do it. I got two cookies. You want to take seven? Can't do it. Got to go over to the next door neighbor. Hey, can I borrow some cookies over there? Sure. Crude. Put, 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 put a line through that eight there. Make that a seven. And this becomes a 12. 12 minus seven. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here we got a 5 right here. Let's work on our last number. Hey, it wasn't too bad, was it? We just covered these numbers up. It's easy, cheesy, working this way. 7 minus 2, let me see. 7 minus 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. There's our answer. This was a gigantic problem, and it was easy to do it if we just start to cover these numbers up. Hey, would you like to try another number? Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. Okay. Hey, if you want to work on this problem with me, you could freeze the video right now, copy this problem down, and then you can check the answer when we go over it. So right now, go ahead and freeze the video. All right, welcome back. Okay, let's start this problem here. Once again, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. There's a bunch of numbers right here. All right. Just kind of cover it up right there. It's like sometimes when you see a scary movie, it's like, oh my goodness. And you kind of peek through there a little bit. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to, I'm going to cover most of these numbers up. But I'm going to leave these two right here. So I don't, I'm, I'm not too worried about these. So let's go ahead and subtract these two. Can I do it? I got three cookies. You want to take seven away? No, this number's too small. We need to make it bigger. Bigger. Yeah. So I need to borrow over here. Borrow one from the four. That will be a three. I'm going to add that 10 to the 3. That'll be a 13. My board's kind of wobbling there. All right, 13 minus 7. What is it? 10, that's right. Six pickup sticks. We'll put a 6 right here. Now we got a 3. Can I, can I take 5 from there? No, I can't do it. Too small. Got to go over to the next door neighbor. I think I can move this paper out here now. Need to borrow from the 9. Hey, Mr. Nine, could I borrow one from you? Sure. So I cross the nine out, make that an eight, and this will be a 13. 13 minus five. What is it? What do you think? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That came to be eight. Yeah, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Always want to check. Always want to check. There's my eight. 
can I do this? Eight minus eight, don't be late. Eight minus eight is zero. That's right, take an eight away from eight. This is a simple zero. Did not have to borrow it all. All right, <laughs> if you need to get a glass of lemonade right now, you can do it because this, this is a gigantic problem. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this. Can't do it, can we? We notice that this number right here is too small. Need to borrow. Thank you, Mr. Number seven. Got to borrow one from you. And I make this a 15. 15 minus seven. Yeah, <laughs> eight. That's right. Hello, Mr. Eight. He's always late. Get it? Eight late? <laughs> All right, six. Six minus three. I, I, it's, that one is so easy. We can finally take a breather. We can do that. Three. There's our gigantic answer to this problem. Hey, are you ready to do one more? I got a little tricky one for you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, welcome back. Hey, like I said, if you want to freeze the video right now, do this and then we'll recheck it. So go ahead and freeze the video. All right, welcome back. Okay, whoa, hey, did you notice something right here? We got a lot of zeros. Don't get nervous about that. Don't get nervous. We can, you know what? I think, I think I'm getting confidence. I think, I, I think we can do this without this piece of paper right there. All right, let's do it. Let's start with the ones. Here we notice that this number is too small. You always want that number over here kind of big, like a big old hat to cover yourself from the rain. I need to borrow. So you go over to the next door neighbor. Whoa, whoa. you notice that next door neighbor, what? he doesn't have any cookies. Let's go next door. Whoa. No more cookies over here. No more cookies over here. What's the deal? Everybody is out of cookies. We gotta go one, two, three, four houses down to get some cookies over here. So, whew, all right, at least we got some cookies over here. So we need to borrow one from the seven. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to do this. I'm gonna take one from the seven and this will be a six. Now, what I usually would do is I would start from here, I'd cross this out, and this would be a 10, all right? But then I would have to borrow one from here, and so I'd have to cross that out, and that would have to be a 9, and then this would be a 10, and it gets, it, it, there's an easier way to do it. You just, let's take it easy. You know you're going to have to turn that into a 9. So just put a line through there, make it a 9. Put a line through there, make it a 9. Put a line through there, make it a 9, and this one becomes 16. <laughs> Can you see that? Pretty easy, isn't it? All right, so now we go ahead and subtract 16 minus 8. Don't be late. Come on, you can do it. 16 minus 8, double fact, 8. Put the 8 right here. 9 minus 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3. I think I'm singing because I'm happy as I'm almost done doing these math problems. And then you can get going on with the rest of your day. 9 minus 3, 6. 9 minus 4, 5. Cinco, cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Muy bien, muy bien. Last number, last number, can we do it? Six minus three, yes, three, threes. We did it, high five. I don't know if you can high five on the video there, but hey, you did it, you graduated. Hey, I hope you had a great day today. Make sure you check out my other videos on here. <laughs> and like always, have a fun day. Adios, goodbye.